Hi, good morning. I've been doing a lot of <laughs> spiritual purifying over here. What else is new? I like to, um, you know, not only treat my body as a temple, but my space as a temple. Give me a second to find the video. I'm going to do my usual, like a little bit of an energy report, but I am doing some different kind of cards today. I'm excited about it too. I'm doing spirit animal cards. <clears throat> We're having a lot of, um, Incoming ascension energies for sure. So I'm going to kind of, um, I'll do a little bit about that, but I'm mostly going to be doing cards today. So give me a second to share this feed out. If you're just finding me, please share this out too. I have issues with Facebook. I'm always banned over my videos. So I can't share my own content out unless it's to my own group areas. So for sure, take a second to share this out. I give away an activation off of every video, but I don't find the person till the next day. So I know a lot of people catch me on replay since I'm on United Kingdom time. For sure, share this video out. You guys get share badges if you share it out, so you get more cards and stuff. So take a second, share this out. Drop your name if you're going to want a card. I'm about to get started. A lot of people are feeling these ascension energies. Um, I've been giving you guys messages for a while on this channel. And it's everything that I'm always talking about. I was trying to explain how serious this ascension is. That I know they've sold us on the you know American version of the dream, where we're working in prison planet and you know fulfilling our roles as slaves around here. But there's a lot more to life than the 3D material plane. And, you know, a lot of people are having these spiritual awakenings. And a lot of the times what leads us to a wake up is our dissatisfaction with that version of reality, right? A lot of people are depressed. If you look at statistics for the amount of people that are on depression and anxiety medications, and, you know, this is just something that is sold to us as normal, being unhappy. They love to show it all over television with everyone miserable and things like that. It's just supposed to be like the normal version of reality. And a lot of people, you know, have these spiritual awakenings because they're dissatisfied with that version of life. They become depressed, you know, um, you know, drained, things like that. It leads us into this spiritual awakening and discovering that there's more to life than the 3D material, material version of reality. That there's this entire other spiritual reality all around us. And, you know, it's really what's leading us along on this journey on so many levels. So I've been telling you guys that I don't know what people are doing here in life, what motivates you, what drives you, but for me, there's nothing else other than this spiritual ascension that's occurring all around us, this planetary ascension. It's also my mission and my calling. Um, just the fact that you guys are tuning into me right now tells me that you're at a certain level of consciousness, that you've had this spiritual awakening. And that's powerful in itself because a lot of you guys have been trying to wake up your friends and family and you're realizing it's not working. If you are awake right now, you have been activated for a calling much bigger than yourself, a mission, a purpose that you kind of signed up for before you came to earth school to learn that, you know, the universe decided that you were needed to make this world a better place in some way. So I know a lot of you guys are awake and aware and you haven't actually begun your mission, some of you guys are on those missions, some of you guys have it. Um, just be you know, aware that if you have been awakened, that you're going to be here for service. My topic today, I'm like, I always just download what I'm going to talk about, fit in the energy, right? And my topic today is service. It's been a you know, topic of mine for a while because that's how you're going to find that bliss is serving the creator in some way. When we serve the creator, we serve ourselves, right? The law of one. Um, so it's very important that you understand that a lot of times we're not meant to be masking depression and anxiety with pills. It's meant to move us forward on our path so that we can, you know, realize we're dissatisfied with our lives and change them on so many levels. And I know that for me, you're not going to find that bliss, that state of a samada, as we're saying around here, unless you're serving in some way, serving the collective. It's what's going to ultimately become that happiness, that bliss, that joy that you're looking for, a color um, deeper than yourselves. 
we have a lot of work to do, a lot of inner work to do. I'm concerned about just the ascension energies and you know my focus is the awake <laughs> the people that are detoxing that are doing the inner work the light workers the healers you know the shamans around us it's always my focus and I have concern with these energies amping up that even the people that are doing the inner work the energy is getting kind of intense the upgrades the activations that we're all going through in the time that we have left to achieve this ascension um, so it's never been more important that you guys are focusing on your energy purifying on um, turning your body into that temple that receiver that it was meant to be on so many levels um, just really turning inward and doing this inner work I see a lot of ascension symptoms going around with these solar waves of energy hitting us if you guys are not feeling good having ascension symptoms feeling out of balance drawing chaotic events to you still um, getting hit with what feels like any type of negative karma for sure check my site link out above you guys might want to check out my chakra openings energy balancing it'll really help you with this ascension make sure you guys are dropping your name if you're going to want a card i'm doing something different i'm going to do some spirit animal oracle cards they look pretty interesting right <laughs> we'll be doing different cards they like to you know kind of rotate around make sure you guys are sharing this out and dropping your name for a card <clears throat> bethany kent bobcat spirit Life is a mystery. We're not meant to know everything that's unfolding. I know there's so many people doing videos and they're like, this is going to happen. And it's going to unfold like this. And I'm at my house joking around like I know everyone thinks they know it's going to happen. But we're not meant to. It's kind of like a movie, right? Your story of your life. And you can expect some plot twists, especially with this ascension. <laughs> Just go with the flow. It's meant to be unfolding slowly like a gradual reveal. Let's see, Gretchen Hyatt, hi. <laughs> Be spirit, sweet results await, and I see the most amazing things unfolding. Yes, energy dying to be created, and we are the ones that will shape this energy into our realities, our dream lives, the things that we're trying to draw to us. For sure, stay positive. That's all we ever had to do. It's all I try to teach. What do we do? We need to keep our vibration high and we need to stay positive. Every single day, you have a blank slate. I see people worried about 15, 20 years ago, five years ago, not understanding. Your energy has changed dramatically since yesterday. Every day, you have an energy reset. We have to do our part. Yes, I see people complaining about drawing negative things to that. But we have to do our part just simply by staying high vibe and staying positive about how things are going to happen. If you can master those two things, you can master your entire reality. And the universe will do everything else. But we have to do our part too, though. Bo James, hi. Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Right now, there's a lot of stripping away or crumbling of the things not serving us. But we did have six months to do it ourselves. <laughs> we had, you know, I was telling you guys, let go of the things that are toxic for you. Get rid of the things no longer serving you. Just in case you guys like weren't able to do that like me, the universe is doing it for us right now and doing a pretty good job of it. So there is this crumbling of the things not serving you anymore. Jake Burchard, good morning. I love it. Yeah, I did put up um, uh, on, on this channel and on my personal page, I did a show with the Akashic Academy with Christy yesterday. It was pretty good. Um, for sure, I posted it on here. I have a lot of really good collaborations pretty much back to back that I've been <laughs> putting off doing that I'm trying to get done too. I have some really awesome video collaborations I'm doing um, for sure that I'm really excited about. Jake, Bat Spirit, a rebirth is assured. I know everyone's so focused on the material, not understanding. We will lose the entire physical at one point with this ascension. So people are on this template trying to work and build their house and their cars and the material around them, not understanding that with this ascension process, everything in the material will fade away at some point. So it's very important that we're understanding our whole life's journey has been to build up ourselves as this person. Abby Osborne, hi. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. And we have a lot of fear is the only thing containing us, our own fear. It was never the elite and the Illuminati and the things outside of ourselves. The only thing that has been stopping us from reaching our infinite potential has been fear. Push past that fear and that's where your dreams are. Vaughn Card, hi. 
Armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. People have zero boundaries. <laughs> I know everyone thinks I'm, you know, extra bitchy just because I have boundaries and I'm like, I don't want this near me. I just don't. I've worked so hard to create this beautiful life of peace around me that I just don't want it near me. And we need to have boundaries with what we're going to allow and our reality on so many levels. Have better boundaries with people. If you feel like saying no, say no. Tracy McMillan. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Um, you need to understand people have everyone on this planet. That's why I can't deal with people playing the victim. Everyone on this planet has been through some crazy stuff, okay? Crazy stuff. It's Earth School. We've had to have so many experiences our souls needed, especially doing this ascension and fitting in, you know, all of this to be doing this ascension. So be kind to the people that you're interacting with. Everyone's fast to get triggered and jump like, it's something personal around here I've noticed lately. For real, be mindful. Um, we have enough people projecting stuff everywhere. Project good energy. Bonnie Peterson. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. We are meant to be co-creators. The universe does not want to have negative experiences. It wants to create blissful experiences. One's in joy. One based in love. Glendis Porter, good morning. Make sure you subscribe to the page. I'm doing crop circles in a minute. I'm going to be skipping my next Stonehenge thing I was going to do, and I'm going right to crop circles, so it's almost crop circle season here. I've never been to one. I'm doing these new experiences here, and I, I can't wait to share out this energy with you guys. It's going to be epic, so if you are new, um, finding my video, for sure like this page. Glendis. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. And if something is not working, if you're being blocked, make it easier on yourself. We need to go with the flow. So I see people try to resist, right? They'll know their path, whether it's someone telling you, you're feeling it intuitively, <laughs> you know, the people around you, you know where you're headed. And sometimes we want to do things our way. Yes, our ego has it planned out what it likes, what it's comfortable with, whether it's a job, a situation, and you know, sometimes things aren't going as planned and our ego is resistant and it will try another way. You get blocked and you try another way and you try to keep doing the same thing and that's how we create suffering by not going, you know, with this universal will. There is our, our own will, what our ego wants, and then there is divine will. And we need to make sure that our lives are very aligned with divine will and what the creator has intended for us. Um, with my own journey, I had to set aside my own life to serve the collective on so many levels. It's been nothing but amazing. But I had to be willing to set aside, you know, what I wanted in my individual reality, you know, for the good of all, for the good of the collective. And in a lot of ways, it's be what we're being called to do. Well, thank you for sharing it, Gretchen. I'm sending nothing but love to the people around me, um, especially I've had a really crazy kind of couple months and so the support is not going unnoticed it was my birthday and I had like 400 birthday comments on my wall and it was needed too because I've been having a rough couple months where I just trying to do my mission and everything and so I just want to send so much love out for all the birthday wishes and the love that I've been receiving um, because you guys know I always I'm trying to pour a lot of love out so it was really nice to get it back it was amazing thank you everyone Vesna Milo's cow spirit the miracles are endless, and I always, this is the life I'm living now, <laughs> that I need miracles to pull off my manifestations lately, probably especially in the past year, that I'm going to be expecting and needing miracles to do this, and I've been getting them. So we need to create bigger. We need to daydream bigger. Manifest things that you would need a miracle to pull it off. Like everyone's like, I could never do this. I could never afford to go here. Um, make a bucket list. Yes, this would be an intention list. Make a bucket list of what you would be doing if you had infinite cash. What would you really do with your lives? And everyone's like, no, I'd be doing the same thing. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> What would you be doing if you had, I don't know, infinite cash in your bank account? I bet your life would look a lot different. And that's how we're getting trapped in this version of reality. By shutting down our dreaming potential and not trying to create these things. Because of, you know, where we're at with lack of resources or whatever we have convinced ourselves of. So for sure, start to dream bigger. Start to expect miracles. It's Shalom Mijia. Chamomile spirit. Act as if. 
we've gotten really used to hiding in our own little worlds, especially the empaths, right? I'm like expert level, I'm gonna do my job, and then I'm gonna disconnect and try to avoid humanity in my own little reality of peace and tranquility that I have created here. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. If you're really empathic, a lot of times we're trying to, you know, spend time in solitude and avoid a lot of the world. Um, so, you know, we really have become good at hiding. We're going to need to find our voice to do this. I just had um, my boyfriend on camera. I'm trying to get him to do videos. And I know that a lot of people don't want to. They're not comfortable speaking in front of people or finding our voice. Just really work on your throat chakra, speaking your truth. Nikki Renee, cat spirit, claim your independence. This is never meant to make us feel powerless. It is meant to shift us out of that 3D programming of victim mentality and into empowering ourselves as a soul. We really need to step into our, you know, divinity and our full potential and power to do this. Michelle Roth, Canary Spirit, sing your own song. And I love um, birds because I'm named after one, right? Um, because they're messengers of the gods, for sure. Keep working on your throat chakra. Your voice is going to be powerful in manifesting the new earth people are going to find. That those that are speaking their truth are helping to manifest a new version of reality. Karen Magnet, Mad, Madigan. <laughs> Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. And I'm going to put this in here really quick too. Um, I do do readings. I'm about to do one after this too, so I will be around for cards today. I do Akashic readings, which are different than when I'm just pulling cards for everyone. You know, I do what's going on with you now, your future um, probabilities, and I go into your past lives too. So anything Akashic you want to ask me, the link is above. So if you guys don't get a card, you guys could set up an Akashic reading. Lisa Hip, my favorite card I've seen so far, the bear. <laughs> Brown bear spirit, take some time out. A lot of you guys are feeling these energies and they're hard on our body. We're simulating so much energy. It is sending light codes to your body, to your DNA. It is reprogramming you on such a cellular level. And we didn't even have a lot of time to integrate the last batch of upgrades. And we're kind of going through these cycles. Take time out, more salt baths, more recharging, more meditation, more time alone. Listen to your bodies doing this ascension. Susan Blank. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. And this is nothing but a dream. We're going to find there's no difference when we go to sleep at night and we're dreaming within this world, within our mind, same rules exist. It's just that we've been indoctrinated and it's a lot more dense here at the moment. You know, but with the frequencies rising, we're able to instant manifest easier and easier. You know, it's changing the energetic dynamics, you know, and everything that we're used to. For sure, realize this is a dream and dream up something better. Lisa Hip. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Yeah, we've been programmed that we're always going to be broke, in lack, never have anything, right? Sick, broke programming, I call it, 3D. Sick, broke programming. That's what they really program us to believe. There's infinite, money is an energy. There's infinite abundance all around us. We've just become blocked in how we are open to receive and manifest. Um, so this is really how we're being rewired to understand that we're living in infinite abundance. It's always been our own thoughts and our own limits blocking us from that. Work on manifesting more. That's one thing I'm huge on trying to teach everyone that we can use these energies happening with this ascension to create different realities. Gina DiFio. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. I'm trying to get together with other light workers because it's very powerful when we can come together with the awake. It's been everything I've been doing, trying to get on feed here and to draw the other light workers from my consciousness group to me. It's very powerful when we can come together with the awake. Put out vibrations for your soul tribe to find you, your soul family. I love this. Lyra Gorman. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to give you guys something that is powerful through my videos and through my words. I'm trying to give you, you know, stuff that will change your entire reality. I see a lot of people have been, I'm just going to put this in my video, on a smear campaign over a breakup I went through. I just left someone very toxic and they've been trying real hard all over Facebook to, you know, change how people see me and smear my name and things like that. Um, but a lot of people were aligned with assisting this person, which I don't realize. These are people that I gave a lot of knowledge to and tried to teach and guide for years working with, like a lot of you guys, right? 
I put a lot of time and effort into doing these videos, working and connecting with the people around me because this knowledge is something that will liberate your soul. It is powerful. Um, they say knowledge is power, but it only is if you guys are using it, if you guys are putting it to practice. It doesn't matter how much you know, how much you memorize from these videos and, you know, hold in your consciousness until you can put this stuff into practice. And this is something that I woke up. I had a pretty shit life. <laughs> in American programming like everyone else, right? I got sold on this version of reality that pretty much sucked. And I had this spiritual awakening and I started to learn this stuff that we started to come back. We live in a manifest reality. I need to detox. I healed myself and I did this. And it was so life-changing and transforming. It put me in a completely different version of reality so fast. Just going on this spiritual path and putting this stuff into practice that I had to get on video and show people like, oh my God, we don't realize we've been lied to. <laughs> Reality is so much different and they're destroying us through, you know, what we believe to be real around here. And I had to get on video to try to give this knowledge to people, to try to help people. It's something that transformed my entire life. I was sick. Right in in lack in 3D programming, and all of a sudden, just reaching this knowledge was enough to change my entire reality. So it's always been my mission to get on video and tell you guys anyone can heal. We've been lied to about reality in our bodies and how this stuff works, and we can just heal anything easily, and we can do it with this information for sure. Be putting this stuff into practice. Oh, Erica Elizabeth, the energy is about to get real intense around here. I don't know if people realize this is all that is going on on this planet right now. I know there's a lot of lessons and lights going on simultaneously. It is, you know, the divine plan of the universe that this earth, this planet Gaia will go through its spiritual ascension. And if we're lucky, we will go with it on so many levels. So yeah, the energy is about to get very intense on this planet. Make sure you guys are drinking a lot of water. Erica, white raven spirit, trust in the magic. And this is meant to be an amazing ride. Yes, we didn't go through all of those traumas and healing of karma and all of this stuff for it not to turn into this amazing, spectacular story. I'm always trying to tell everyone that it's meant to be actually a love story, <laughs> some amazing fairy tale. And, you know, it's just the nature of our stories going on. Tonic Hawks, good morning. Will Spirit, trust the great mystery. Have faith in the universe. Have trust in yourself and that you created your life plan. <laughs> Have more faith in yourself in making um, you know, these agreements to come to this planet. Nadine Elena. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. Anything negative that occurs is to bring about a positive change. We see a lot of traumas and awful things that go on in this matrix like mass shootings and stuff like that but it is meant to bring people together we experience death so that we understand the connection is eternal and that we're never losing anyone and how deeply connected we are to you know give us assistance from the other realms a lot of people see this stuff as very negative that's occurring on this planet not even realizing you know these are things our soul needs to learn there's a lot of people that play the victim and cry about you know the negative energy returning to them that they they put out this would be known as karma um, but it is to teach us about energy and to be more mindful and careful with our actions and the energy coming back it's how people learn a lot of times people can't feel bad when they do something negative to someone else but when it comes back to them as an exchange of karma they can learn that way Rosa Patterson hi vulture spirit nothing is wasted we're always learning here. People are like, they are looking at their past like it could have been bad or negative or mistakes. No, these were lessons that you needed. And so you can't hang on to this stuff. There's only ever the now. Who you are this second is always ever changing, hopefully. Hopefully you're continuing to evolve and grow and transform. There's only the now and past experiences that you're so needed. You're only going to fail at art school if you didn't learn anything from the lessons you went through. Yes, we're meant to gain knowledge out of these past experiences, nothing more. Brad Val, shout out to the Amins, the ones that could hack the fire. <laughs> 
We need soldiers. I was explaining to people it's perfect. Keep testing the people around us, right? Because we need soldiers. We need warriors that want to take on the global elite. Not people that when stuff gets rough over a breakup, roll out. We need real warriors and light warriors around here, right? We need people that are not afraid to create a big change on this planet. We need people past that fear, right? So shout out to the amends. <laughs> Turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race, and we're going to keep creating, we're going to keep trying to create this change, and we're creating more of a change already than people know, and or may even be aware of, just simply by shifting our vibrations, staying positive, and creating these positive ripple effects, and is what the world needs. Annabelle McCauley. Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. And gratitude is the ultimate shift in vibration. Um, I just did a video in our Awakening to Ascension group here on Facebook. We do class spaces on here. I keep on trying to post the link too. So if you go back on my last post, it's on this page, the link to our group. And we do some pretty amazing content in there. But one of our main focuses is these gratitude lists we do for homework and staying in gratitude. But all you have to do is, you know, if you're having a rough time or a bad day, Think about what you're grateful for. It will instantly shift your vibration, your frequency, your mood, and everything you're focusing on, right? So if you're having a bad day, a rough time, maybe you're having an amazing time in life. Same. Kylie Eames. Hi, just sending good vibes, sending lots of Reiki and love. Kylie, swan spirit, time for a deep dive. It's time to, get, time to push past fear like we're saying, right? It's time to unlimit what we're manifesting. Today's exercise, since we're in manifesting energy, is to unlimit ourselves. Start to think that you have infinite cash and what you would really be doing with your life. And start to daydream about these things. Because we're usually daydreaming about, you know, how our life's going, you know, with our jobs and reality. We need to really start to unlimit the things going on in our minds. Because, you know, we're realizing, well, how do you manifest? Intention and daydreaming, putting your focus on it. Diane Rimrayan. Starfish Spirit. Open to infinite possibilities. And like I said, we're always thinking, oh, this will go okay. This will go bad. <laughs> we always go to two probabilities. Like either this will work or this won't work generally with the way we've been programming. Not even understanding that we're talking about, you know, this infinite creator that could create anything for us. So we really need to unlimit and realize that there are infinite possibilities. And we need to, you know, realize that we're creating them based on what we're thinking about. We have to dream them into being though. So, you know, if you want more possibilities, start to think them up. Start to think of more opportunities. It's how we create these pathways or probabilities. Tasha Osborne. Rhino spirit. I happen to have... It sounds really weird, a spirit animal for real, that's a rhinoceros. <laughs> it's a sink for me. Overcome any obstacle. Kim Longo, hi. <laughs> Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. We have the best astrology. It is time for, this astrology has an eye on love, finances and relationships as well as creation and things like that so this is an amazing time this month astrologically um on so many levels that's why i have a huge focus on love and manifesting this month with my feeds <clears throat> someone i just see this comment erica is saying that life has been chaotic yeah it's a lot happening at once our timelines are basically speeding up from me going through this the way i've been viewing it right that it's like our timelines are just speeding up and giving us a lot more lessons rapidly are you feeling like you're getting just a lot kind of thrown at you more lessons right more stuff going on so you know it's really speeding things up and where we're headed to though johnny brugier Sandpiper spirit, be playful. I'm trying to teach people that if you want more of this source, you know, life force energy around us, we can simply have more fun, stay in joy. I'm learning how to play more, <laughs> trying to have fun. I laugh a lot. If you know me in my real life, I'm generally laughing and chilling and having more fun and being playful about things. So for sure, practice having more fun. It brings more of this spiritual energy around us. Terry Kofaid. Skunk spirit, know your worth 
And, you know, when we put up with others treating us badly, you know, it's really, we're allowing that. We need to have boundaries as to how we're allowing ourselves to be treated as well. Um, I think that a lot of people, you know, don't understand boundaries because we're living in a world with none. So as soon as you start to put up boundaries around yourself, people don't know how to deal with it, I'm noticing lately, right? Have boundaries. We need to work on that as empaths. We're coming from a place where we would be, you know, more apt to be people-pleasing, doing things other people want us to do. For sure have good boundaries. Becky Hall McBride. I'm on anxiety medicine. I'm huge on that too because um, I was on a lot of medications going through this matrix. As a lot of you guys know that have been watching my feeds for a while now. Um, so for sure, the goal is to get off the pharmaceuticals. A lot of times anxiety is a red flag about your situation or the people around you or we wouldn't be feeling anxiety. Um, so the goal is to stop numbing ourselves and to learn how to process past that phase. That stuff will go away. Yeah. Keep going on your journey. You can get rid of this permanently. You know, it's meant to wake us up in this spiritual awakening process. Becky. Crosshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. Yeah, it can be hard work. I was talking to my boyfriend about how even a lot of the uh, mental health type medications are addicting. Yeah, even if it's like blood pressure medicine or any type of, you know, pharmaceutical, you're putting toxins and chemicals in your body. And so, you know, you could have withdrawals some type of withdrawal detox symptoms from even any kind of medication that isn't even addictive, let alone the addictive medications like anxiety medicine, depression medicine. But, you know, we have to get back to our divine state, our divine essence, and all the garbage from 3D is going to have to go, whether it's, you know, cigarettes, <laughs> the chemicals, the stuff like that. This is a gradual process, though. Be kind and gentle on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if you are someone that is on these things. It's part of the journey, part of the lesson, and everyone's at different places here. Um, so I'm always just to serve as a mirror of, you know, where we're headed a lot of the times with detoxing and things like that for some of you guys. Do not be hard on yourselves. But yes, the goal is is to not stop putting toxins in our body. This is how we heal and activate ourselves. You guys know I've helped a lot of people get off this garbage too around us, right? I've helped a lot of people get off some really crazy medications and drugs where, you know, they have very bad physical withdrawal symptoms and things like that. So you guys always know where to find me too. Juliet Salt March. Fox Spirit, think on your feet. Connect to the earth more. With this ascension, the earth is on, you know, perfect frequencies. Get outside more. I've been trying to get outside more, just, you know, hang out in that earth energy. And it's really good for our auras, grounding us, centering ourselves, connecting us to the earth. We know that our, our, our heart chakra and electromagnetic pulse is connected to the earth as well. Johnny Brugier. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. We're kind of in-between worlds. Yeah, there's a lot of fear still. <laughs> I'm trying to, right? There's a lot of fear. We're kind of in-between realities. So I don't know if some people feel like that once you're awake, that you're kind of a little bit removed from 3D, but you're not quite there yet. So we're kind of in-between worlds. Stay positive. There's a lot of outside noise going on. <laughs> I just say outside noise, drama, negativity, people projecting all over, things that have nothing to do with other people, clearly, right? <laughs> Seeing it just with my job on Facebook, and I'm just like, all right, I will be not letting any outside noise near me or my reality right now. Outside noise, right? There's a lot of outside noise going on, we'll just say. So make sure that you're um, like disconnecting more, avoiding any drama, gossip, things that'll lower your vibration. Just stay where you're at in your tranquility, your inner peace, for sure. But be aware of that with these energies. Martina Pillage. Hi. Sending crazy good vibes from the UK. It's early here. There's a lot of ascension energy flooding these areas over here. And I'm on the heart chakra of the planet. So a lot of the global energy comes in through here. And the energy feels real crazy here today. So I had to get on video and send out some good vibes. Martina. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. We're meant to learn those lessons. Everyone's so hung up on them, trying to carry them all, carry them around. And I'm always saying you're not even the same person yesterday energetically that every day you're evolving and transforming and growing. And these were just experiences your soul needed on some level to turn you into who you are now on whatever level. It was just 
an alchemical soul process is shaping you into the person that you know yourself to be. We're going to continue to learn and evolve. And people identify a little too hard with these lessons. Things that happened, you know, when they were kids, traumas, things they didn't like. Jenny Burkstaller. Hi. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. And I know that we know that we live in a manifest reality because, you know, with the programming we had, we just created things we didn't like by thinking negative thoughts about our outcomes and how things would go. So we saw what happens when you sit around thinking negatively, that you draw things you don't like, your fears, you know, low vibe type of experiences. And as we're making this ascension and shifting our energy, we can stay positive and we will align to those outcomes now. So, you know, the law of attraction is real and it's really what we're learning how to get back to, how to, you know, draw things to us based on what we're thinking about. Better thoughts equal a better reality. Michelle Lloyd. Otter spirit, you're never alone. We're deeply connected. Telepathy will be the new language of the fifth dimension. People are realizing that, you know, our minds were not meant to process information in the way that we're really indoctrinated into and that we're very telepathic and that we can feel one another, whether it's pain, you know, ideas, thoughts coming off of another. Trace even you. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. There's meant to be love in every experience. Yes, the creator in every single experience. This one included any little thing that you're doing. Look for the love. Look for the creator. Sherry Nappy. Good morning. Sending crazy love. There's very crazy high vibes on this feed, right? I'm trying to see how many people are on it. Real quick. We got some good vibes. Sending out crazy vibes. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Small changes, you know, keep doing these small changes. They will turn into huge changes ultimately. Wayne Weaving. Moth spirit, surrender now. A lot of this is surrender. Like I said, we always have this comfort of what we want to happen. We need to surrender to divine will. It is a huge part of this process. I know it was for me awakening and time and time again. Surrender. So when you surrender it completely will open your crown chakra. Will Davis. Hi. My website link is above and when I get off of here I'll post it again. But I probably have it on several posts on my page. It's on the video above. Will Davis. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. And like I just said, crazy things are happening with our timelines and we're going to nail with lessons fast. I'm sorry, we're almost done with this ascension. I know a lot of people are just catching on that something is occurring here and uh, there's very real changes about to happen. Um, so things are for sure speeding up. That's why we need to slow down a little energetically. If you need me, um, you can just hit my business page inbox. Like you asked for my website link or whatever, just hit my inbox. I'll be around as soon as I get off of this video all day. Katrina Dean. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. A lot of people think, you know, there's a lot of negative things happening. Don't worry. The universe has your back. Light always prevails, right? So the universe is aligned with you. Selena Cochran. Peacock spirit. Let it shine. And I was talking about on my earlier video in my Awaken into Ascension class I did this morning. I was talking about what lights us up when we're happy, right? When we're, when we're happy, when we're laughing. This is how we really light up, right? So we need to light ourselves up bright, brighter. Do more of what makes you happy. More of what lights you up. More of what you like to do for fun. Tammy Oliver. Wombat spirit. Be at home. Our soul is this internal compass. Some people call it their intuition. I call it a soul pull. It is leading you throughout your journey. It is advising you in every little move you make, every little decision, right? And it is leading you home, though. It really is. A lot of star seeds felt very alone and disconnected, like myself, going through this matrix. Don't worry. Your soul is leading you home now with this ascension, and we're almost there. So just keep on following that soul compass. Follow your heart. The people that are listening to the outside noise, Leading you. I look at that outside noise like the government and the fake news, the gossip, the drama, the outside noise trying to lead people, right? Will lead you astray, I assure you. You need to follow your heart. 
like go within follow your heart your soul this calling within your intuition with every single thing that you're going through because it's not ever going to lead you astray if you ever have like the friends that give you advice and it was like the worst advice ever that if you would have followed it you probably would have ruined your life i know you've all had a friend like that in your lifetime like you get this advice and you're like oh yeah not for me right so you need to learn how to tune within and to follow that internal compass because it knows you best. That's your soul leading you. That's the universe, source, God, call it what you want. Okay, I'm going to be getting off of here. Like I said, I have a lot of really good, um, fun video projects I'm going to get out to you guys though. Um, I'm trying to get my video flow going back again after the upgrades that I went through. Um, it's been kind of crazy, so I'll definitely be live tomorrow. I'm going to be doing our class space. We have a group called Tantric Revolution now, which is another class space. I've been trying to put the links up if you guys aren't in these areas so you can catch my feeds because I'm doing live feeds, not just on this channel, but in my class spaces daily this week too. Um, so I'll be live in Tantric Revolution tomorrow and then live on this channel. If you guys need me, um, if you guys have not you know, been attuned to Reiki or any type of energy healing, time to get on your missions, time to get on your calling. For sure, check out my Usai Reiki classes, my healing stuff. If you're having a rough time with Ascension, maybe check out my DNA upgrades. It'll help speed the process up. And I am here, so just hit my business page inbox if you need me. Love and light.